One of the most important things about choosing a motorhome is the type of bed. It dictates the layout of the motorhome and the type of kitchen you might have and the type of washroom you might have. So in this video I want to talk about the different types of layouts that the that we can find. I um, think yeah. there, there are some others. Yes, yeah, these are the main ones we can find. Yeah, so we... Um, Where did we, we find them? Well, we, we looked in Practical Motorhome, and in the back of Practical Motorhome, if you look in there, they, they generally list the vans by the type of bed layout that they've got. Yeah. Which yeah. probably tells you something about how important the bed layout is. Yeah. I think we've tried about six different types of bed. We actually slept in six types of bed. When I added these up the other day, it was 16 types of beds that we've tried. So we can't give you a, a, an idea of what it's like to sleep in all of them. Now, no doubt people who are watching this video uh, will have slept in some of these types of beds. So what I'll ask you to do, um, if you have slept in any of these beds that we mentioned, let us know how you get on with it, what uh, advantages there are disadvantages there are of the type of bed and perhaps let's know why you chose the layout. Yeah. Want to do this this uh, video really because if you're changing your motorhome um, you might be thinking about different types of layouts maybe the kids have flown the nest or something like that or perhaps you're coming from a caravan to a motorhome or perhaps you're new to motorhomes altogether and you've no idea where to start. No, no, so that's right. So bed layout is a good place to start. Right, so well, shall we start with over cab drop down? Now, what are you thinking of there? Well, over cab drop down is where you've got the, the bed is actually over the cab, so the driving area. The driving area. Remember that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the bed is normally at an angle and it tilts down. You either pull it down or it, sometimes it's electrically operated and comes down. So you actually sleep over the cab area. Tends to be A classes have that a lot, don't they? Yeah, if you could find Heimers, Burstners, Continental vans, uh, particularly A class vans, will have uh, drop down over cab beds. So now, in the, the Malibu that we um, we borrowed, borrowed a couple of years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, we had an over cab drop down. Yeah, and you slept in it one night. I slept in it one night because it also had a, a beds at the back as well. So I thought I'd better try out the drop down bed. Um, Getting in and out of it wasn't too bad. I could actually step up on the sofa and, and get into the bed that way. But with a lot of uh, overcab beds, you'll probably need a ladder of some sort to, to get into, in and out of it. And I guess that's one of the drawbacks. You've got to yes. store the ladder somewhere. Sometimes yes. the ladders are made out of metal and can be a bit uncomfortable. But advantage of it is you pushed it out the way during the day and you d really didn't notice it, did you, as you were driving along? You didn't no. notice you got a bed above no. you. And often what you get, the lights are built into underneath yeah. the bed. So you don't, sometimes you don't, people don't even know they're, they're there. I've heard no. stories of people driving around with a motor and they didn't know they got a drop down bed. Because <laughs> yeah. so. they are quite, yeah, no, they do yeah. sort of go away quite well. If that was your only bed in the motorhome then it would save quite a bit of space. Yes. You yeah. often find though you've got front drop down beds and rear beds as well. As well, yeah. yeah which yeah. doesn't help the, the length considerations. But, no, no. Um, uh, an another disadvantage of over cab beds is that sometimes you can feel a bit claustrophobic and it sort of depends how many windows you've got around. Uh, yeah. You know, some people find them a bit claustrophobic. Other people like the coziness of them. Yeah. So the second type of over cab bed you've got is where the over cab bed is fixed so you can't drop it down or anything. What that tends to mean is that you get a bit of a, a, a bulb, if you like, over the top of the motorhome to give you enough space to actually get in and out. And Didn't they used to call that a Luton? That yeah, well, it, it, it looks a bit like, you know, the, the delivery vans, and they used to be called Luton vans. Right, yeah. Because they were made in Luton, I guess. Yes. <laughs> but, probably, yeah, possibly. But uh, yeah, I think normally they're a bit more um, curved than the sort of yeah. traditional box delivery van that you get. Yeah. Or uh, in fact, a removal van, if you thought of that, <laughs> that would be a bit square, yeah, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah. yeah. So they are sort of curved. So advantages of a fixed bed is it's fixed. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it can give you uh, a lot of space to put things if you don't use it. <laughs> or you can let you can leave your mattress and you can leave your bedding up there out of the way. Yeah. yeah. Disadvantages, you probably need a ladder to get in and out of it ladder, again. Ladder, yeah. 
disadvantage ladder. Yeah. yeah. And the other advantage is it is out of the way and you've got a, a, a big fixed bed that's not getting in the way of your lounge. So the next type of bed is the drop down bed and there's two types of this. The first type I'm going to look at is where the bed drops down over the lounge. It could also be, it could be electrical or it could be manual, manual. drop down bed. So two types, but we're focusing on that where the bed drops down. We had this in the Bailey Compact. Yeah, but which was an electric one. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, what happened to it? The motor um, packed up once, didn't it? The motor wasn't strong enough, and another time it blew a fuse. Yeah. So we, we didn't get on very well with it, but it, that was a very early version of it. Well, it's Bailey's early version of yeah, the drop-down bed. Yeah, I, I think they have improved dramatically since then. Yeah. The other ones you get are the manual ones, and they seem well, more just, reliable. You, well, you, you just, just pull, pull them down. down. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so advantages it, was yeah. that the bed was out of the way during the day. Mm -hmm. um, the disadvantages were, A, you needed a ladder to get yeah. into it because it only came down sort of three quarters of the way. Yeah. You only had tiny lockers underneath, so we found, you know, they were next to useless, well, really. they were about that big, weren't they? Yeah, <laughs> we couldn't get much in them. No. And sometimes you don't even have lockers at all under the drop-down no, beds. No, no. Depends how far down they come, doesn't it? That's right. Yeah. Um, the, the Bailey Compact's bed came about halfway down, so in yeah. theory you could still get crawl about under the lounge but you couldn't sit in it. No and the this I think I'm born about the second night we discovered yeah. that we all would have to go to bed together yeah. because you couldn't we could just about crawl about in the lounge but yeah not very easily. But once you know once it's down then it's bedtime. Yeah and, and we it. thought we could watch the telly but we you were too high up it. so we couldn't yeah. we could oh. only see the I yeah. can see the top of it, I think. That was yeah. about it. Yeah. yeah, so... So that caused us not to buy the... Uh, well, it caused us to sell the van after eight, eight months. So, yeah. like I say, in choosing the right sort of bed can be a really important decision. Vision, yeah. So then the new type that started to come in is over lounge drop-down beds. So they tend to be in the rear of the van. Yeah, well, you've, you've got, got a, a, a rear lounge. lounge. Yeah. Um, and uh, the, the bed drops down there. That enables... I think the idea is that you could... But put the from the the bottom ones into a bed, and yeah. then you could have another bed over the top. Yeah. Or you can bring these beds, the new ones, right the way down. Yeah, they saw this on the Bailey Adamo, which uh, yeah, is a, is a 75 DL. 75 4 DL. DL. Yeah. yeah. So it's a four berth. So in theory, you can have two uh, two beds underneath and two beds above. So it's like a a drop-down bed, bunk bed type thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so so it, sa it sounds like a good idea. I like the idea that you can bring it all the way down, so you don't need the ladder again to get I in. Think and that, out I think I think I would. That would have been one thing that I would have liked about it would be the fact that we could have brought the bed further down. It was. Yeah. It didn't help that it was sort of up, up there. The you yeah. had to get down a ladder. Yeah. And the other disappointment we found was we thought we could put uh, leave our bedding on there. Mm -hmm. And we couldn't. No, it couldn't. You couldn't so, it wouldn't go up far. So that's enough. a thing to check if you yeah. if you're looking at a drop down bed. Could you actually leave the bedding on there? We asked a question, didn't we, when yeah. we bought it, and they said, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah." No, and then when we it couldn't. We had problems with it, said, "Oh, you shouldn't leave your bedding up there." Yeah. Yeah. So. So watch that. That was a disappointment. Yeah. So yeah. that's that's drop down beds. Yeah. I think we've probably covered this in in to death in the past. We, we possibly have. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so shall we move on? Yeah, move on to something we know nothing about. Yeah, yeah. that's it. And we can talk with authority about yeah, something no, we've never tried, <laughs> can we? That's right. Yeah. And th that's bunk beds. So I'm going to need your help here if you've got a van with bunk beds. Now I think bunk beds are probably a great idea if you've got kids. Yeah. Uh, kids seem to love bunk beds. I know I would have done as a kid. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and the advantage with that is, with the bunk bed, is that you, the kids can have their own area. The yeah. Bunk beds are often associated with a, like a little dinette, dinette area yeah, yeah, where they can play games yeah. at the table. Yeah. So yeah. the, what's the type of bunk beds we're talking about? Most of them are... Width, width ways. Transverse. Yeah, yeah, transverse. So across the, yeah. the width of the van. I think in caravans you, you get lengthways ones because sometimes they have like their little bedroom area at yeah. the back. Yeah. Uh, but the one we looked at in a motor and we looked in a hobby, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, that's right. Hobby on tour T65 H. KM. You're not reading that at all, are you? No, and I've got remember that <laughs> exactly. Yeah. The NEC in 2019. Mm, yeah. And that had widthways bunk beds at the back. Yeah. 
yeah. yeah. I think bunk beds are a great solution, particularly with kids, where you've got a lot of berths in the in the van. Yeah. You know, yeah. if you're a six berth van and you've got a couple of bunk beds, or you could have bunk beds either side as well, can't you? Yeah. Of the van, particularly right. caravans, I think. Yeah. Oh, and sometimes you you even get pull down ones, but I've right. got no real experience of any no, of those. No, sometimes you have a little dinette on the side and yeah. a bed that drops down and forms a bunk with the dinette as well. So all sorts of different uh, variations on that theme. So if you've used or you've, uh, well, if you've had... Had experience. Had experience, yeah. Yeah, what are they know. like? That's right. Yeah, now this next area we have a lot of experience with because this is pulled together sofa beds yeah. in the front lounge. These you tend to have two sofas facing each other yeah. and you have your two cab seats that you can turn round yeah. and you tend to have a kitchen and a bathroom at the back. Yeah. So we've had this in one of our own vans, haven't we? Yeah. Um, the the auto, uh, auto Cruise Starfire. Yeah. And we've tested one when we went away in a Bailey Alliance 59 too. Yeah. Um, yeah. What it does mean is that someone has to make the bed up and it's that's normally me <laughs> and it's normally normally helps if the other person finds something else to do what like going get, like, get out go the way go in the washroom go in the washroom and then come out to say oh the beds are all made yeah, up yeah I mean that's part of the um, enjoyment for the other person <laughs> is that you don't really notice that the bed's been made up no no, no but uh, we've got a little bit of footage haven't we of yeah advantages advantages is that you end up with a very sociable lounge during yeah. the day yeah and we ma we managed to fit quite a few people in, didn't we? Yeah. In the the Bailey yeah. Alliance. Size. Size wise, because it, that they tend to be under six meters. Yeah. Um, we found that that little van was great for going about in yeah. one parking space. We managed to park at a National Trust, didn't mm -hmm. we? Mm -hmm. When we thought we'd never get in here. No, that's right. Yeah. Um, Disadvantages are that you have to make the bed up. And you have to put the bed away, <laughs> and, you have, to put and it away. you have to find somewhere to store Stop. the yeah, and that the bedding. The bedding, and yeah. we found that a bit of a challenge because it took up only one of the available lockers. Yeah, didn't particularly it? on a shorter van, is that you're going to have less space anyway. So it's somewhere to store your pillars and your your sleeping bag and or your duvets in our case, it takes up quite a bit of room. I think it took up most of one locker and half the other locker, so. Yeah, so yeah, we had, it had it in the, we had the pillows in the wardrobe, I think, yeah. and the, the beds in underneath, in yeah. underneath one of the sofas. What yeah. was better was when we had, well, we had um, an Autocruise Starfire, an Autocruise Vista, yeah. and both of them had an over cab locker, didn't locker, they? Locker, yeah, that's right. Um, a bit of a loot and area for storing bedding. Yeah, and so Particularly we. Starfire, you could put all the bedding in that locker. Yeah. And you you didn't have to you know, sacrifice any other space. No, I mean the the Autocruise Vista didn't pull together, but it was one big. It was an L shape. Well, you had an L shaped sofa, sofa on it? one side. Yeah, and you pulled that out, yeah. and it had a flappy thing to make it a square bed. Yeah, a, a pole to hold. A pole to hold it up. <laughs> hold it yeah, up. Which yeah. Is, yeah, which is a bit, yeah, a bit <laughs> yeah, strange. Yeah, it's different. But it's different, um, and that was a, that's a fairly unusual layout. Yeah, but that actually worked in a sm uh, very well in a small van. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, and yeah. And we put the bedding away during the day. And then you had this lovely sitting area in both of those. Yeah, so the other type of pull together sofa beds that you'll get is the rear lounge one. And that's where you've got normally a, a U shaped uh, lounge at the back, and you can make that up into a, a bed by pulling the sofas together. So the advantages of that is that you can make the bed up and you can leave it made up, especially if you've got somewhere in the front of the cab to go. Yeah, because we looked at a Bailey Autograph 69 too, didn't we? Yeah. Which had a really nice big rear lounge. Yeah. And then at the front, it had got two seat, the cab seats, and it actually got somewhere to put coffee and whatever. Yeah, yeah. a disadvantage, yeah. of course, is once you've made the bed up, you can't use the lounge, of course, and no. you've got to put it away if you want to use the, the big rear lounge. Yes. So pluses and minuses there with that one. That's right, yeah. Yeah, and you tended to have a smaller bathroom, I think, because of that. Yeah, you've got yeah. to end, you end up with a centre bathroom, don't you? Yeah. So washroom. Yeah, washroom. <laughs> washroom, sorry. shower yeah. room, whatever. Yeah. The other type is where you've got a, a make-up travel seat type bed. Yeah. And you this is where you've got four seats so you've got four belty seats you've got the two the driver and passenger at the front and two seats at the back and you make that bed uh, part of the travel seats into another bed as well 
and we did have some fun with that we, layout. We had real fun with that, didn't we? So we had it in the autograph 75-4 and in an advanced 74-4. Yeah, the sim those are yeah. similar vans. Similar, similar, yeah. Yeah, similar layout. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of cushion shuffling, isn't it? Yeah, an awful lot of cushion and, shuffling. And trying to find where the cushions go. Yeah, I mean, to be fair to Bailey, when we, we did this, and we'll show you some footage of this, is that when we tried to make this bed up, they put the wrong cushions in, in the motome, so. That was the advance they put it in. The autograph, we got the right cushions. Yeah, but it, it just still took a while, so. It, yeah, and I suppose yeah. once you've done it, it it's yeah. okay. Um, yeah. Ten, we tended to look at vans with, with, with travel seats. Our previous van had travel seats, and mm. we never used the, the front bed at all, because we got twin beds at the back. Yeah. But uh, you, you do find that some vans have got travel seats, and the only bed they've got is a makeup bed there. So if you're looking at that sort of van, I would really suggest that you... Have, Try out uh, the beds. Well, you ask Try them, can we make, make up the, the beds bed. and see how difficult it is? because yeah. it can be a, a bit of a pain. Yeah. Advantages of that, of course, is you've got travel seats. Mm. So if you do need to take people with you, travel seats are great. Yeah, yeah. I can't think of a dis, uh, can't think of an advantage of it, but. <laughs> well, the bed. Oh, the, the bed, yeah. yeah. I suppose it makes a nice, comfortable bed. I mean, it? our one, we, we can make up another bed at the front, can't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So still on the idea of making up beds from the sofas, is where you've got a long enough sofa uh, that you can actually put uh, just put your bedding on and go to sleep on it. Yeah. So the vet that what you end up with is a longer van. Now a, an example of this is the Auto Sleeper Broadway, yeah. which has a six foot sofa. So you can basically just put some a sleeping bag on there and go to sleep. Yeah. Um, yeah. Big advantage of that is that the person who is wanting to stay up can stay up. Can still stay up, yeah. 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 Disadvantage? Um, I don't know how comfortable they are. I mean, we've uh, we've never tried long enough sofas, have we? We have tried to sleep on shorter sofas. Yeah. Where you had yeah. to use the the be the uh, oh, yeah. seat to yeah. turn round. Well, some vans uh, they expect you to turn the seat round and use yeah. that to to put your feet on. And I think that that can be incredibly uncomfortable. We would use that when um, Katie had a hip problems, didn't we? Because we, oh, we had did that bed. in Starfire because the, the yeah. sofas weren't quite long enough, so we tried yeah. to make it up, and it was incredibly. I found it on the back of my legs were aching, yeah. and yeah. it just wasn't that comfortable. Yeah. So, moving on to something uh, we know nothing about again: no, island beds. Island beds, yeah. We never tried an island bed. So a typical sort of island bed is the sort of thing you'd find in the Auto Trail Frontier Comanche. Now this is an eight something metre van. Yeah. Uh, tw a twin axle at the back. And this is where the, the bed is a decent width, but is lengthways down the van. Yeah, yeah. In the, we've tried them at some of the shows and where they've been a shorter van, yeah. you've tried the bed and your feet are dangling over the yeah. edge, aren't they? Yeah, because they, they, I think obviously to save length, that they've tried to keep the bed to six foot. Now I find, because I'm six foot anyway, I find I need the extra sort of two inches on the bed to, uh, to, to be wiggle room, I suppose, really, isn't yeah, it? Because yeah. you're not, your head's not going to be banged up against the, the headboard. and. Yeah, yeah. But uh, if it's only six foot, I f would think that those island beds are too short. So that would be a thing to check when you look at uh, vans with island beds, is how can you get on if you're six foot or, or over? I know a lot of people who are over six foot really struggle with island beds. Yeah, and the other thing you, you tend to find then is you get a smaller bathroom. that's yeah. often in the centre, isn't it? Yeah. Sometimes it's split across yeah, the van, so, well, the shower on one side, yeah. But in other vans, like the shorter ones, it can be a small bathroom one side and then yeah. the kitchen the other. Big advantage of the island bed is the comfort. The comfort. I mean, they look yeah. they look really comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. They tend yeah. to have really nice mattresses on them. Proper mattresses, yeah. And yeah. you can walk round them to get in. You're not climbing up. Um, normally, you're not climbing up ladders or anything. I no. say that with hesitation because sometimes the island bed can be up in the air because it's over a garage. Over a garage, and then you, you tend to have like little steps, steps to get up, up don't yeah, you, which are probably better than a ladder. Much better than a ladder, yeah. Yeah, you're not keen on ladders, are you? No, <laughs> no. no, not really. <laughs> no. no. Um, so the other type of island bed is the transverse island bed. 
these tend to be less uh, common in motorhomes and that's where if you're looking down the width of the van the island bed uh, the, is across the van so yeah. it's taking up the width of the van the problem with that uh, immediately is that if you're looking at a six foot two bed you've probably not got much more than seven foot or so in the width of the van so what manufacturers have done is they've come up with the idea that you can shorten the bed yeah you can, yeah. You can pull it up during the day so it has a day mode almost like a shay long mm -hmm. uh, where you can sit up there and that's quite an idea because because uh, it allows you to get round the the bed and you'll sometimes find that the washroom is at the back so the plus for yeah, that. for plus for that. Yeah, it tends to be quite a common layout in caravans, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, eight I foot mean, wide. Eight caravans. foot wide caravans because then you, you can have a really wide bed. Yeah, and you can have a lovely bathroom at the back. Yeah, what sorry, washroom at Wash the back. <laughs> right. Yeah, and I, th I think if we were going for a caravan, we'd probably go for that layout. Yes, yeah, we probably would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But f I think for motorhomes, it is a little bit restricted because often you'll need to be moving about quite a bit during the day when you're on the road or whatever. Mm. If you go every time you go to the bathroom you've got to make sure the bed's out of the way. There are some that don't pull out of the way. Yeah, that's right, yeah. 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 But I did struggle to remember a lot of any motomes that we'd seen. It's been so long since we've been to a show. Well it's so long since we've been to a show anyway, yeah. but we did look at a, a T line, didn't we? A roller the roller team T line, yeah. yeah. I think seven four three is it? Seven four three. Seven four three, yeah. So I'll perhaps find a bit of footage of that. Moving on to fixed transverse beds now this is a layout that you'll find in the swift escape compact c205 yeah and that's where uh, you, the bed takes up the whole width of the motorhome and it's often at the back of the motorhome because it's over a garage yeah and yeah. this works really well for compact vans because it means you can have a garage yeah. and a fixed bed Yes. Which is quite a nice combination, if you think about it. Yeah, and then you tend, particularly in this layout, you had the bathroom on one side, you had quite a nice kitchen. Yeah. And then you had uh, a sitting area at the front, didn't you, with yeah. a couple of travel seats and a table. Yeah, so, so it, it was yeah, quite a nice layout. It was quite a nice uh, layout, that. Yeah, the disadvantage is the... Getting in the bed, I think, I think we found. Yeah. Found yeah, it, it, the beds will tend to be higher to, yeah. get, to make a greater garage. So you're back to sort of looking at ladders again, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So for us, there wasn't. Well, no, I think it had st it had two tiny little stairs. Oh, did it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And disadvantage, I suppose, is at the back. It can feel a little bit claustrophobic in that bed. If uh, you're the one that's sleeping on next the, to the by wall. the wall, yeah, yeah. By, by the back wall, you've so. got to move the other person. Yeah. down the steps. So why, why I think uh, lighting in certainly those sort of areas is quite important. When yeah. you, you know, having sort of windows and that that give you a little bit light and mm. a bit of more of an airy feeling to it. Yeah. Yeah. Moving on to a type of bed we have used and that's the French bed or the corner bed. And that's a bed that's normally in the corner of the motome and it's got a cut off of the bottom of it. Yeah. And we had this when we borrowed the Autograph 754. Yes. What, would yeah. you, what did we think of that? Um, well, I, I slept on the outside next mm. to the wall and yeah. I had the radiator, the Audi radiator. Yeah. And I tended to feel I was being pushed more and more almost on top of the radiator. Yeah. Um, we used the duvelets, didn't we? Yeah. Um, but you, you were the other side. So I, I was on the cut-off side. You of were it. on the cut-off side. I think I was on that side, so I could get out and take Poppy out. Yeah, so yeah, that's right. So, yeah. So I ended up with my feet sort of hanging out off the edge of the cut-off. And your, your, your bedding was slipping off the edge as well, wasn't yeah, it? So yeah, yeah. I mean, I think if we had that type of layout, we would have obviously looked at different sort of bedding, but we yeah. were just borrowing it. They're, they do do other ones where um, the bathroom is at the back, don't yeah. they? And I think they tend to be slightly wider. Yeah. Our, this was quite a narrow bed because the yeah. bathroom, sorry, the washroom, yeah. was just across from us, wasn't it? Yeah. And, yeah. and uh, the, the, the reason for the cut-off in that case is so that you could open the washroom door. Yeah, which was a slidey door thing, wasn't it? Yeah, well, was it? I can't, yeah. remember, I can't remember, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it, it does, was. It does, the cut-off's there, so you can get round it for whatever reason. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I think those beds are great, but I think it'd be really good if someone could design a way of turning them into more of a fixed 
bed. If you had sort of like a, a, a flap or something, like yeah. I mean, we're going back to that vista we were saying, the bed had a, yeah. a flap. A bit of an add-on bit. An yeah. add-on bit would be nice, yeah. wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Twin single beds now. No, nothing about them, do we? We're <laughs> <laughs> we're no, we have tried both. We've tried yeah. um, the low ones. Yeah and the high ones. We should talk about the high ones first. We'll talk about the high ones first, yeah. yeah. This yeah. was on the Malibu, This is it? the Malibu again, yeah. 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 You'll find this a lot of Continental vans. You've got twin single beds and they're lengthways. You've got a little bit in the middle between the, the two beds um, and you can sometimes make it up into a huge double bed. So it's quite a nice uh, bed to actually uh, comfort-wise and mm. not too difficult to get in and out of. Because no. normally you've got like steps that take you up yeah. into the bed. Disadvantages? Well, I felt very high up. I don't yeah. think all of the that type are that high up. No. This, because it had a very tall garage, which was great for putting yeah. things in, but yeah. it made the bed almost just under the um, cupboard, didn't yeah. it? Yeah, and I think one, one evening I poppy woke us up and I got up with a start and I cracked my head on the on, under the locker. You won't do it too many times. No, you didn't do it again. No, but, uh, but uh, it, it does make you conscious of um, where those lockers are. and Yeah, you sort of wake mm -hmm. up and you look up and there's a locker yeah. and to yeah. begin with that's strange and then you look down and you think, well, I'm all the way up here, yeah. so... You've got, uh, I mean, the, the reason for them being so high up is the is the garage underneath. Yeah. So, you know, it's great having a garage, particularly if you're taking a lot of stuff with you, like bikes and deck chairs and tables. If, and, yeah, for putting your awning away and, yeah. and other things. Um, and it, it would have been great. But how did we get on with the garage? I mean, bear in mind, <laughs> we went in the winter, didn't we? So we didn't take awnings or anything like no, that. No, we put a lot of stuff in boxes in, in the garage. And what yeah. I found was every time you wanted something, you know, I'd turn to you and say, where's my camera or where's... It's in the garage. It's in the garage. So oh, you're, yeah. then you're outside and in into the garage and then yeah. hunting around in the garage. So. This didn't have any way into the garage from inside, did it? I mean, some of them have mm. a, a, a way mm. of you getting into the garage mm. from the inside, but this didn't. You were having to go outside all the time. That's right. I seem to remember that the beds lift up. You could get, there's a little bit of locker space under the bed, yes. but you couldn't get... You couldn't get to the garage. To the garage. Whereas yeah. some of the, the cleverer ones have got a little doorway. I think into I the think garage. the roller teams do that. You can yeah. actually go into the garage from the bedroom. Yeah. 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 So, uh, I think I'm thinking of that great big feisty thing you looked at. Yeah, the it's roller called. team. Uh, that great big Zafiro thing. Sport. That yeah. One. That one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so people. Some people rave about those those motors mm. with the big garage. So as long as you're willing to put up with the bed being higher up. That, that's a great and, solution for people. And you've got the payload, people. of course, depending yeah. on what you put in the garage. Yeah. No, it, it, well, and then we tended to have a very, very tiny bathroom, didn't we? Yeah. And yeah. So, it, which moves us on to our, our preferred layout, and that's the twin single beds that are uh, fixed and the lower down. Yeah. Just for us, it just means that we can collapse into bed after a long day's filming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so we really like that. Disadvantages of it? Um, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, trying th I'm trying to think. I mean, we've got the washroom at the mm -hmm. back, which is nice. Yeah. We can shut off that part of the van. So if one of us wants to go to sleep, yeah. they can, while the other one stays up. Yeah. Um, the bath bathroom, uh, the washroom is great. Yeah. Uh, Shall I give yeah. you a disadvantage? I Go on, then. One, yeah. you can think of one, can you? Well, it, we've just been talking about massive garages uh, yeah. where you've got loads of storage and you've yeah. got bikes and things in there. With twin beds, you don't get that usually. No, no well, with twin, twin store... low beds. You, yeah. can, you can store plenty under the, the locker. We, we, we survive with the storage space, but we're not putting you know, uh, quad bikes and mountain no, bikes. No, I mean, I, I can see that if we had a garage um, when we take the awning, that would be much easier to get the awning out yeah. than it is at the moment. Yeah. And it, at the moment it, it's a real uh, struggle to get the awning in and out of under yeah. the bed, if I'm perfectly honest. It goes yeah. in there, but uh, I'd rather there was an easier way to get it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because <it's laughs> those, those struts are. I think we've said this before, the yeah. struts on the bed are very... Yeah, I, still um, a, yeah, I said I was going to replace those. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, but yeah. that it... So yeah. yes, I can see that if we had a, a garage, yeah. we could put the awning in yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, so that's the sort of layout of the, of the beds. Now there's, there is one other important consideration and uh, it shouldn't just be about the layout, is how comfortable the beds mm. are when mm. you actually get to use them. Yeah. Right, so yeah, let's talk about comfort. So what you've got to bear in mind is most motorhome beds that you've got or caravan beds for that matter, will probably be smaller than the beds that you've got at home. With, um, width, yeah, width wise. And, and often length wise as well. Yeah. Because obviously you've got a smaller space. Now, unless you're talking about an American RV where the beds tend to be bigger, bigger than, than we've got, got at home. home. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's an important consideration to think about. Don't go expecting the, the same sort of size bed that you've got at home, certainly on UK and European motorhomes. Um, the other thing is, that what sort of cushioning have you got underneath? If you're talking about makeup, uh, makeup beds from sofas, I think we've already mentioned this, but you will basically have foam in the cushion. Some uh, sofas are sprung, and, uh, but they have to have a bit of a compromise between being comfortable for seating on, which is where, how can I put this, you're pressing down on one area for quite a long time, Right, because yeah. you're sitting. Yeah. Well, it's because you're yeah. sitting, uh, and they, they have to balance that against the comfort of lying on it without it being too firm. So, yeah. Well, but what we did find was once we got the duvelets with the yeah. memory foam base, yeah. and I think that that, I think that's a recommendation that. for duvelets or any other mattress for, yeah. for that matter is that it does increase the comfort of makeup beds. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, don't, we probably don't need a duvelet, if I'm perfectly honest. We just carried on using them, could just think they were great. Um, but cushions, makeup sofas, you've got to think how comfortable is it going to be to lie on it. And that's yeah. important, isn't it? If you yeah. don't get a good night's sleep, you're not going to be fit mm -hmm. for the next day. No. Um, so think about if you've got fixed beds, is what sort of springs have they got in there? Uh, I mean, mum, my mum used to sell beds and she would tell us all sorts of you yeah. know, vari variable springs and you know all sorts of That's right. clever yeah. springs that they've springs got there, and 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 sort yeah. of hybrid um, um, memory foam and uh, yeah. yeah. multi-coil springs and all those sort of things. So check out how, the, how comfortable the mattress is. I know some people have bought motorhomes and caravans and they've found that the, the, the mattress given to them wasn't that comfortable anyway. No, so they've gone and so, replaced it. So yeah. if you are looking at it, I would I would suggest you, you lie on it for longer than a few minutes. Yeah, yeah. Just think, you know, is, is this supporting me and, and all that. All the sort of things you would do if you were going to uh, a well-known bed shop mm, to mm. buy a bed for your home. Yeah, I mean, we're lucky that ours came with duvelet mattresses, didn't they? Yeah. Which well, are very comfortable. Which do seem to be very comfortable, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 The other thing you've got to bear in mind is the base of the beds is going to be pretty much wooden slats. Mm. Um, the only type, type of bed that we've tried that were, were any different were, was the makeup bed that we have on the ba Bailey Compact and they had these plastic froly springs. Drop down bed you mean? What did I say? Made up makeup bed, drop yeah, down sorry, bed. Yeah sorry, on the Bailey Compact drop down bed. They had froly springs and little plastic sort of cushions, I suppose. Well, not cushions, or cups, I suppose they are. Yeah, what did you think of those? Well, I think after a while, the, the bed turned into more of a hammock than a... Yeah, because some of them sort of stuck down. The mattress was about that thick. Yeah. Got plastic springs underneath yeah. and, and you just ended up sort of... And then that made the, the challenge of getting out and getting down the ladder more difficult, didn't it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. So, uh, yeah, so think about what sort of springs you've got and what sort of base you've got in there. Uh, think about what you're going to be sleeping under as well. So, uh, some people use sleeping bags, uh, which, are, which are fine. If you've come from a tent, then you'll probably be used to, to sleeping that's bags. That's what we, we started with, wasn't it? We, we used started. to zip them together. Yeah, just zip them together. Yeah. It can be a bit constrictive sometimes. Yes, yeah. Yeah. When he feels hot or something. Yeah, 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 and you end up unzipping it. Yeah. We ended up with, I think we said, the duvet, uh, which is like a half sleeping bag. It's open at one end, you've got, uh, and you've got a duvet over the top of you and a memory foam underneath. They're great for makeup beds. Yeah, because we use them on the single beds or when we had we have a yeah. double bed, you put them together don't you so that they yeah. the openings in the middle or, yeah and it, yeah. it can make a nice double it does make yeah, yeah yeah it does so yeah so definitely have a look at those um, 
other types of beds you'll obviously see on more conventional types where you've got you know sheets and you've got a, a, a sheet over the top and perhaps a duvet uh, or blankets some people just you know put blankets over the top yeah we did try that didn't we originally when we first got the Bolero we bought some single sheets bought yeah. some single duvets yeah. and we kept finding the duvet both of our duvets kept falling yeah, on the floor. Particularly if, if you if the bed's a bit narrower, yeah. you, you, you you try to tuck the duvet in one side, yeah. and then as you move around during the night, it comes out and then falls on the floor. So yeah, not a good <laughs> idea. But you, you can get I think the duvet themselves do it that uh, they'll make up a sheet for you the right size. Right. Okay. You know if you've got an island bed or whatever. Okay. And then other people use clever things like you've done with ours to keep the fixed sheet on the bottom yeah, is use straps. those straps. Yeah, I've yeah. seen people do that on an island bed to use an, an ordinary sheet and keep it. Yeah, and strap it down underneath. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 So perhaps show you a little bit of that. Yeah, so that that's basically all we wanted to say about beds. It's yeah, a fair bit, isn't it? Makes, <laughs> makes sense. Yeah. yeah. I'll probably have to look at the, the footage and see if it made any sense <laughs> at, at all. all yeah. 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 Uh, but uh, let us know how you get on with your bed, what sort of layout you've got, what beds you've tried and what worked, what didn't work. I'd be interested to know. And uh, I think that's it. That's it, yeah, I think so. Think of yeah. anything else to no, say? No? no. So if you enjoyed the video, found it useful, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, hit the notifications icon and you'll get an update when we release another video. So we'll see you soon. Yeah, bye then. Bye then. Beep. That door is shut, isn't it? That right. door is shut, that door's open. Yeah, that's all right. Right, so... No, hang on. Let me your neck. One of the most important things about...